Hello folks, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to talk about my top 10 fragrances from Creed. It's going to be really good. I'm going to get through these pretty quickly so you get the maximum amount of info in the minimum amount of time. Don't forget, if you want to buy fragrance samples in North America, that's USA or Canada, go to myfragrancesamples.com. There is a link in the description. Use my code FALL15 for 15% off. Amazing site for all your fragrance samples, niche and designer. Okay, Creed. Great, great fragrance house. Um, I know there's some controversy because some people say, well, some of their history about all these illustrious people from other centuries that they made fragrances for, it can't really be backed up or proved, and it kind of didn't really happen, maybe, okay? Um, I don't really care. I get it. Yeah, it's just marketing. Okay, fine. We now know some of the fragrances that were attributed perhaps to Olivier Creed or Olivier and Erwin Creed as perfumer, actually by Pierre Bourdon, a well-known designer, uh, fragrance composer. So whatever. I'm not talking. Let's get straight into the list. You're here for the info. Okay. They're all great. I really like Creed fragrances. These I've got about 15, 16, and these are the top 10 that I love most, okay? Obviously, they're expensive. Are they worth it? To me, you know, what does worth it mean? It's worth what you're willing to pay. Yes, there are Chanel's that spend uh, smell just as good, that cost a bit less, or Dior fragrances, or maybe even cheapies. Uh, but some of these are so good and I've spent the money and I, I don't regret it. So it's, it depends how much money you've got. Okay, let's get stuck into it. First one that I'll do then, Spice and Wood. This is, if you, if you, you're not, if you haven't got a lot of money, sorry, because this is extra expensive. Okay, so Spice and Wood is from their Le exclusives kind of upscale range, even more than their normal kind of bottles. These are all men's fragrances, essentially. And uh, this one has a beautiful citrusy opening. Then it has a very, very nice spicy woody, a surprise, surprise with the name Spicy Woody Heart. It's got a, kind of a hint, almost a hint of subtle cinnamon in there, but not, not anything too obviously like a cinnamon donut. Don't worry about that. Lovely vetiver base on this one too. It's rich, it's spicy, it's woody, it's very timeless. It doesn't smell dated, but it doesn't smell sort of youthful and cocky or anything. It's really, really classy. A great upgrade if you love Aventus, but you want something less people will have smelled or smelled anything like it. Spice and Wood really is one of the exclusives range that really might be worth that extra money. 75 mil there. I forget all the prices, guys. I'm not I'm not gonna do QVC, but it's you know 300 pounds plus for 75 mil. Bit crazy, but there you go. Next up, if you want a fantastic freshie, maybe my favorite out and out fresh fragrance from the House of Creed, Erolfa. You can see how much I've used. Okay, this is a fantastic citrus aromatic, beautiful, fresh, kind of zingy citrus, fruity notes, and this sort of sea air ozonic thing. Uh, the ambergris note there coming from the whale's digestive tract is absolutely, you know, really, really, it makes it so crisp and beautiful. So it's, got, it's like being splashed and revived by a little uh, subtle spray of seawater as you're speeding along in a boat, eating some lemons and tangerines and bergamots or having, I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're doing when this happens, but it, that's the vibe. It's really, really nice. David Beckham wears it, but never mind. Uh, I really think it's rather excellent. So Creed Erol for fantastic. Don't sleep on this fragrance. In fact, don't sleep on any fragrance. A mattress is much more comfortable. Let's move along. Next one, something completely different. Royal Oud. Creed's Royal Oud is remarkable. Only thing is, it doesn't really smell much like Oud. It has some oud in it, but you don't smell that, okay? Oud being this kind of pungent, exotic, rotting wood thing from the Middle East. Anyway, whatever. Beautiful bergamot, pink pepper, and wonderful cedar. It could almost have been called royal cedar. It's almost a kind of um, pencil shaving, ashy, woody thing, but perfectly balanced with this very crisp kind of citrus and white musks and a little bit of that, that kind of white, crisp, freshly shaved wood shavings in a good way type thing. It really is exquisite, grown up, again, very timeless, could be any decade, any era, uh, but it, it smells kind of grown up. Not mature old man, but grown up. It's, it's just, you don't smell like a kid. Kids can wear it. It doesn't matter what age you are. Performance, by the way, Erolfa, I find it good, not amazing. Spice and wood, again, I would say good above average for me. Some people disagree. Royal Oud, more medium, medium. Okay, let's move along the, uh, the list here. Next up, they like to say royal in their things, even though they're not anything to do with any royal family. Royal water. Another great citrus fragrance. Okay, to put it simply, beautiful, crisp, fresh citrus with this lovely twi twist of mint in there. It's really exquisitely done. It's really, really underrated and slept on, as they say, as Creed fragrances go. This one is an exquisite creation from the prestigious house of Creed. It is beautiful. It is aromatic. It is a medium projection. Great option and a little, little bit more subtle and a little bit, a bit more to it than the uber-fresh Erolfa. I really, really like Royal Water. 
often overlooked. I was going to do another royal one, but let's see. Okay, Green Irish Tweed. Now it comes in a black bottle. Amazing. 1985 release. It was uh, the perfumer we now re pretty much acknowledge is Pierre Bourdon. Incredible uh, fresh bergamot type of opening. Then there's this lovely lemon verbena with violet leaf and sandalwood in the base. It is so beautiful. It is like the rich man's cool water. It has that almost aquatic thing, but it's, it's more sort of green and grassy than Davidoff cool water, which is a rather ho-hum cheaper version of the same idea this is the real thing that Pierre Bourdon really wanted this to smell like and when he has the high budget which Creed do give to their perfumers you can create something magnificent so this is really refined aristocratic smelling freshness green grassy uh, almost a melancholy Irish aristocrat in his sort of uh, uh, an aristocrat who's fallen on somewhat less illustrious times than he might have liked to enjoy in his mid uh, mid to late 40s I'm not talking about myself green Irish tweed Yes, it's a classic. Don't miss that one. Okay, another royal one, Royal Mayfair. Okay, gin, eucalyptus. I think there's rose or some floral. So floral, gin, eucalyptus, nothing like any of the others. Sort of fresh, but in an amazing way. I imagine like Prince Charles or someone wearing this, whether you like him or not. Not sure if I do. King Charles. Oh, God, he's king now. It's really, really charming and really, 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 really pleasant to wear. Okay, it's very grown up. It's sophisticated. It's got depth. It's got complexity. It's kind of light. It's not in your face. It's not overly heavy, but it's there's something magical about this semi-medicinal thing that comes from the sort of eucalyptus. Somebody said it smells like creosote <laughs> that you paint fences with, but in a really good refined aristocratic way. I, I, I really, uh, close to one of my absolute top, 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 top favourites. We've got Aberdeen Lavender. These are called Aqua, Aqua Original range. I think they're more kind of unisex. Okay, unisexy maybe. Aberdeen, hardly a glamour, glamorous place if you're if you're um, from the UK. You Sorry, people in Aberdeen, but anyway. Uh, it's a beautiful, yeah, it is a beautiful, crisp, lavender, barbershop type of smell. Hint of vanilla in there too. So it's very sort of powdery, soft, very unisex, lovely kind of dapper, gentlemanly. You literally smell a lot of that lavender with a subtle yet complex mix of sweet accords and some subtle kind of spices and even a hint of Creed's usual famous citrus. This is charming. If you like your dapper barbershop scents, Aberdeen Lavender, right up my street. My all-time favourite Creed, Bois de Portugal. Green bergamot, amazing sandalwood, vetiver in there, ambergris, and of course some lavender. This is uh, sort of very... Old school smell. Some people say it's a fougere, but officially I think it's a woody aromatic. Apparently Frank Sinatra used to wear it. So this does have an old school vibe. Does smell a bit dated in a really good way for me. So rich, so fantastic. It's sort of fresh and bitter and almost dank. So if you don't like that kind of thing, you won't like this. And then it has this magnificent air of authority that comes from this kind of woody combination with sandalwood. Very classy, aristocratic vibes. Love the name too. Bois de Portugal Woods of Portugal. Okay. Next up, something completely different, Virgin Island water. You want to smell fresh? Get this, lime. Amazing lime with coconut are the two main things that stand out. So you've got kind of fresh citrus, lime being the note that isn't in every fragrance in the opening type thing, and that wonderful kind of crisp coconut. They talk about white bay rum or white rum or something. No, white rum. It doesn't smell boozy in any way, but I think it just gives you that idea in your head of have, being on holiday, having maybe in the Virgin Islands, having a delicious fantastic uplifting reviving cocktail and this is like a wonderful fresh cocktail on your skin so lime with coconut but not sort of sweet sickly creamy milky coconut it just it kind of plays along with the, the amazing summer holiday vibe in a bottle freshness i wear it in january in england even you know even if it's minus two i'm a, I'm a wild man next up finally himalaya creed himalaya this is very slept on a lot of people must be very uncomfortable they're sleeping on this hip himalaya okay metallic kind of bottle gives you a hint it's kind of uh, i think it's almost their answer to platinum egoist from creed which was a mid uh mid 90s type of release okay so it's it's got this kind of metallic soapy freshness it does have an old school sort of barbershop thing there with some lavender and this very nice kind of citrusy opening that creed do so well a little bit old school, 90s kind of vibe. Smells a lot like Paco Rabanne XS, actually, but sort of a more expensive version with better ingredients, maybe. I, re I really like that. And uh, so those are my top 10. If you've enjoyed that list, please let me know. My intros that used to be at the start are now the outros, so one's coming in two seconds. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. You get something different from me. And guys, don't forget, I'm live every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The Fragrance Communities maybe leading regular live community live stream and uh, it's a really fun place to come and interact with people in the chat maybe you'll even come on as a guest we have some amazing guests we talk about fragrances and much else beyond and don't remember if it's don't no do remember don't forget if it's worth saying in the live chat 
it's surely worth super chatting. See you next time. Bye bye. Olé, 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 olé. Super chat 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 Super chat chat chat